But to look your enemy in the eye, knowing you'll remember his face for the rest of your life, now that takes a stomach much stronger than you'll ever have. Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Girl Survives and welcome back to our mini let's play of the demo of Between the Stars. Let's get our ship docked and see what we need to do next, shall we? Gotta inform Susan of the situation. We need, we need to get to this dock, so let's get in there. A little more, there we go. And stop the ship. There we go. The ship should auto dock now. Uh, yep. Oh, it's got stuck. <laughs> right, docking is complete. After arriving at the station, you go to the docking port where your ship is located. In it, you spot Susan, who rushes to, out to meet you. You've returned. Did you find anything? Susan looks at you expectantly, waiting for an answer. Uh, we can go, we found the freighter, there weren't any survivors, we, they were all dead, Susan, we were unable to do anything, or they were violently butchered. Let's go for the top one, because I'd rather spare her feelings if possible. Susan looks shocked by the news. Oh, well, we didn't. After a few seconds, she recovers and begins to speak. This can't be. I know the pilot, uh, I knew the pilot ever since we were kids. We were able to recover the cargo. Oh, well, <laughs> that shock was short-lived. Yes, we were able to recover it. Well, at least there's some good news. Our crew is currently heavily invested in the repair work. Since you need uh, the ship as soon as possible, maybe uh, your engineers could help us. Could you process the protonite slabs and fabricate a new iron reactor? Of course, we'll get right on it. Not a problem at all. Okay, so what we need to do now is we need to go to our departments. We need to go to our scrapping workshop here. Uh, click on the protonite. Choose to scrap it. There you go, 100% done and complete. There you go, we've got the additional protonite. And then we'll go to the engineering workshop. Grab the iron reactor and build it. That will cost us 500 of the protonite. So we're actually making a fairly decent profit there. And complete. There we go. And we have it. Fantastic stuff. Okay. Susan examines the iron reactor closely. An excellent job. Um, with this, we'll, be, we'll have everything that we need to finish the repairs. I have another favour to ask of you in the meantime, while we finish things up. Uh, speak to me when you're ready to go. Of course. Now, we might take a quick look at our crew members. Uh, nobody's leveled up so far, which is uh, something of a shame, but there we are. Uh, let's also go to our systems and have a think about anything that we might want. There's an interceptor laser there. I think that intercepts enemy missiles. We've got a shotgun, Mark II. Not great. Cannon of the Republic, light cannon of the Republic. Well, it seems that we have most of these things. Uh, the light cannon we could sell uh, for 500 credits. I think we'll just keep hold of it for the moment. Let's take a look at our systems and see if we can improve things a little ways. Uh, I think I would like to upgrade the light cannon. We can see that it will cost us 300 protonite and 150 synthetic minusite to do so. There you go, and you can see that it's in improved it fairly significantly, which is nice. Okay, let's take a look at the Light Cannon of the Rep Republic. Now this fine fellow here could definitely do with an upgrading. Cost a similar amount of materials. Causes great damage to the hull, but is not effective against shields. Let's upgrade it. I think we'll go with twice again. And the Nuke. That requires more stuff, so I'm, I'm actually going to leave the Nuke for the moment. Pulse Generator. We haven't really used all that much. Cloaking Generator again. Mine Launcher again. Uh, I'm not bothered about those items, uh, so I'd rather keep my stuff. So, let's go to the station and check out the inspection. We stopped receiving protonite shipments. After the attack on the freighter, we can't guarantee the commercial route security to the mining stations in the sector. Inspector Howard Huggins must fill out his forms immediately. Transport him and evaluate the station's status. Let's accept that contract. Okay, time to go. Oh, one thing that we should do. Oh, somebody subscribed. Thank you. Uh, let's repair our ship. Only cost us 79 credits. Still got plenty in the kitty. Uh, let's exit the station. Well, we have a long way to go. We should depart. Engines on maximum drive. Unauthorized order. You lack bridge privileges. <laughs> so now I have a babysitter? Yes, you Is do. Is the Republic sending you to watch over me? Yes. 
It's a matter of security, Mr. Huggins. The last Protonite shipment was assaulted. Captains are not what they used to be. If a pirate ship attacked me, there wouldn't be enough space for them to hide. We're sure of that. Well, this guy seems like a bit of a dick. Okay, we're getting close to our inspection area. Make sure that we're heading right for it, and we should drop out of warp or quantum what the hell? speed. These transport ships are not ours. It seems they found a more interesting intermediary than your company, Mr. Huggins. Oh my. This can't be. We have in to register this immediately. At any moment in the game, you can access the photo mode in it. Uh, time will halt and you'll have complete control over the camera and its parameters in order to take spectacular pictures. Save them directly to your computer or press the button to hide the interface with the screen uh, and cap with Steam's system. Uh, okay, right. So we press P to enter photo mode. We can do whatever we want uh, in regards to moving things around. So let's, we'll take one photo somewhere. This fella looks like a decent candidate. Let's get a little bit lower. Might, might, you might want to use this as my... Uh, ooh. Over here has better lighting. <laughs> it's nice to be able to zoom around like this. It's something I do quite appreciate. Those pulsar repairs. That looks like a fun shot, doesn't it? Now we can change the focus zone size. We can change the range adjustment. Now what we will actually do is we'll change the um, near radius to be a lot closer to us. There we go. And the far radius. There we go. Let's just change the focus zone size so we can block out some of the background, shall we? There we go. And we're just going to move that far radius to be a little clearer. I was hoping I could blur out the asteroids in the background, but that's not worked as I was hoping. There you go, fairly self-explanatory. You take the picture once you're done, and then you'll click back afterwards. There you go, go back. And press P. Oh, no, don't press P, just press escape. There you go, when we've the taken the picture. When the finds out, heads will roll. And let's get on to the next spot. Captain, we have to go back to the station now. No. What happened? I forgot my lunch. Oh, for God's sake. Mr. Huggins. Mr. Huggins, indeed. False alarm. I found it. Oh, go oh, good. Captain, okay. there's no sign of activity on the station. It looks completely abandoned. We should dock and discover what's going on here. Okay, docking it is. I'll stay on this ship. Uh, co covering your backs. I kind of wish that the gimbal was always closer. Uh, let's just stop here. Like, um... Oh, gone too far. Get into the green zone. There we go. Yeah, I wish that the gimbal was always in this kind of uh, zone, as opposed to being further away from the ship. I think a lot of this uh, a lot of this game's beauty comes from the eye candy that the ships represent, and how, um, being a little bit closer in on that gimbal to the ship... I think would be a bit nicer. I know it would obscure some of the background view, but there we go. Okay. Dock bay doors open and the captain and his crew arrive in a great reception hall. The doors of Durin. It currently, uh, it currently only has emergency lights on that show the remains of a broken furniture strewn around the floor, floor uh, forming large mounds of rubble. Oh my. Um, let's look for survivors. From within the darkness, the crew discovers buried bodies among the remains of the station. Upon digging one up, they discover that he's still alive. They came. We resisted. The man moves his arm and slowly pulls out his ID card. He offers it to you and finally dies. Poor guy. Grab the ID card and let's go. <laughs> okay, you advance through one of the hallways guided only by the emergency lights. On the walls, you can see stretch marks. 
Scratch marks and blood illuminated softly. Sounds lovely. After a while advancing, you reach a completely sealed bay door. Next to it, you can see a small keycard reader. It's currently operational. How nice. Um, we need to reactivate the energy flow in order to advance. Okay. You search the chamber for an energy terminal to re-establish the systems. After a few minutes, you find a room that contains generators. The head of the engineering team comes near you. That's disgusting. <laughs> it comes to you, probably, is probably the best uh, way of describing that. Captain, we've detected an anomaly in the generators. We could use the remains of one of the destroyed machines to make them work again. Okay. Uh, yep, go ahead, try it. Your engineer's capacity to craft ensures your success. Now, that might have gone badly if I didn't have an engineer with enough skill. So that's interesting that there are skill checks in the game. I find that to be a very, uh, a very positive thing about it. The team analyzes uh, the damage with minute care and prepares a temporary solution. A few minutes later, they've constructed an apparatus that allows the energy to flow with temporary function. Great job, team. Let's continue. You advance through the hallways. On the walls, you can see this. Uh, OK, so we've already done that. We introduced the ID card that we got from the uh, the guy who died immediately after giving it to us. Uh, you advance through the hallway and search different rooms you find. You arrive on the bridge, where a log of recent dockings or events must be. The large computer that occupies the room is completely destroyed. You continue advancing through the smaller root chambers without any luck finding anyone, nor clues as to what could have happened. In one of the workshops, you find plans for a weapons prototype. Ooh, maybe your engineers could make use of them. Let's see. Let's leave the station. There's nothing left to have here. All right, so we do have blueprints for a weapon of some form. So? We've looked over the station. There are no survivors. But, but this can't be happening. We have to inspect the last station. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll go I to. I think I've had enough. We should head back. This what? oversteps your jurisdiction, Mr. Huggins. You can come with us or stay here. You decide. This is an outrage. You guys are kidnapping me. <laughs> Preparing the jettison hatch for immediate exit. <laughs> All right, fine. I'll go with you. Okay, it looks to me. There's nothing that we really want here, uh, based on what I can see. So let's not worry about any uh, of these new bits and bobs for the time being. Anybody need sick bay? No, anything for research? No, not at the moment. Okay, let's continue onwards to our next destination. One thing that I don't like is the exit warp sound. Uh, when, when ships come in at warp, it sounds like weapons fire from, uh, I think, Star Trek or Star Wars, one of the two. Uh, and that kind of throws me a little bit. It kind of throws me for a loop. Oh, look, there's a station down there, then. Isn't that nice? No, no, we want to go. Come on. Places to be. As I say, being gimbled in closer... I think would be nicer. I understand why they're doing it in this situation, because we're travelling fast, so a greater field of view is beneficial. But um, I think when you're going at slower speeds, the gimbal should definitely be closer. But here we are. You finally arrive at the last station. After hearing uh, Inspector Huggins' complaints the entire time, you can't wait to finish the mission. Everything looks calm on the station when suddenly a group of ships appears in the area. They are pirate ships. You recognise Expleo's emblem on their hulls. Maybe they want revenge. There's no time to lose. In order, you order your crew to prepare to defend the station. Everyone Captain, to your posts. The station is under attack. I told you we should have gone back. We can still turn the ship around. Control yourself, Mr. Huggins. We won't abandon any innocents. Damn crew, it, Mr. Huggins. Stay alert. We'll hold off the enemy attack. All right, let's put ourselves sir, into yes, stealth mode. Certainly not something that we need to do, but it seems fun. Most of the enemy ships are the other side. Uh, you might not want to go that way, bud. Alright, we've just left stealth mode. It's time to attack. Alright, didn't kill anybody on that run. There goes one. Let's take another one. Maybe a nuke. That nuke should hit them at the top, so... Ooh. 
Oh, there's the nuke. <laughs> and it took out the ship next to it as well. Looks like there's an AoE effect with the nukes. And there's one more ship down there. It's at 77%. Let's go and get her. Looks like two of the local defence ships are seeing to it. There you go, she is down. Well done, everyone. Good job. Are these attacks normal? After the skirmish, uh, after the skirmish, the mining station's director thanks you. Thanks, Captain. Those pirates appeared out of nowhere. They wanted to keep our, our protonite extraction. We're lucky you arrived when you did. Are these attacks normal? The director responds in a nervous tone. No, this area is usually very peaceful. These last few days, we've been having a few skirmishes with pirates and trade ships. This exceeds any other incident we've had to date. Do you have any other information that could be deemed useful? You ask the director uh, if he has any relevant information uh, that could shed some light on the pirates' intentions. He responds, I have no idea uh, what they could want besides our protonite. Although an attack on this scale, it just isn't logical. Oh, wait a moment. The director disappears from uh, the visor only to return a short time later. Uh, I've been informed, or have you, that we've recovered an encrypted transmission from one of the ships. Maybe it'll help you. Thanks, Chief. Captain, the corrupt transmission corresponds to the rest of the data patterns. Is it possible to begin an investigation, Crewman Burton? The science team currently believes we have enough data to decode everything. We will begin right away. Okay, fantastic Understood. Stuff. Uh, let's salvage what we can from these enemy ships. I think one or two of the friendly ones as well. <laughs> Yeah, I do. I do like being closer in like this. I think this would be a preferable standard view. There we go. Everybody's got an opinion, haven't they? <laughs> right, let's get ourselves slowed down once we're close to this ship. Turn ourselves around. Ooh, a rare salvage crate. Hello, you're kind of blocking my route to salvage. I will open fire. A little bit more salvage. I think that's another rare one. How nice. Two more to go. Three more to go, in fact. Ooh, lots of salvage. Where's the blue thing for you? Red thing. I don't know. I know colours, I, I promise. And one more just over there. Only common loot this time, sadly. There you go. Everything is salvaged. And now we need to get back to our Allied station. But before we do that... Let's take a quick look at some of the salvage that we've received. We've got this corrupt data, which we need to decipher. We'll have a look at that in a moment. Okay, a little bit of materials. I appreciate that. Let's get some more. <clears throat> All good stuff. Common probably won't have much, on, much to go with. Hacking Drone Mark II. Very nice. Wow, lots of stuff. Oh, we even got some uh, quantum cores there. That was a bit of a disappointment. Okay, there we go. That's what we've got at the moment. Um, now, this hacking drone, uh, I don't specifically know what it does, I must admit, but we'll keep a hold of it just in case. Let's go to our departments, pop to the research lab, and ask them to research this. Let's get going. Okay, so we have started researching... Our work here is done. COVID Let's data, head back to the station. And we've got to head back to the station. I think now. I need a vacation. Anyone need sick bay? No. Any crew members leveled up? Also, no. Okay, so... Sadly, 
Nothing incredible has gone on there. Let's get back into quantum space or quantum speed and we will head back to the Allied station. I like the fact that things are voice acted in this game, but it is extremely hammy. <laughs> I think perhaps a, uh, a second pass on voice acting in the future might be nice. Um, because it's very, it's, it's a very kind of early 90s hammy. And maybe that's what they're going for, I'm not sure. Maybe one of the developers will see the video and uh, answer that question for me. Are you going for a bit of early 90s ham? Comms chief. Request permission to dock. Station control tower here. Dock at the assigned bay. Over. Okay, will do. Receiving coordinates. Establishing communication. Docking protocol prepared. Magnificent stuff. I do like this little ship. I wonder how many ships are uh, pilotable in game. <clears throat> That's something that I wasn't a hundred percent sure of. Uh, I know that there's this one and the larger ship that you have, but I don't know how many other ships are pilotable. Again, maybe one of the developers, uh, if they see this video, would like to answer that question. Let's get docked. Oh, we got stuck again. <laughs> okay. Once back at the station, Howard says goodbye with few words, and he leaves the group. Susan comes up to you in a more cheerful demeanour. But finally back, Inspector Huggins looked a bit out of place. Did everything go well? It's best not to ask. Wow, I'm sorry to hear that. Susan looks away for a few seconds, but recomposes herself and resumes the chat rapidly. In any case, we've got good news. It was tough, but your ship's repairs have been completed. I guess this is goodbye. Don't be strangers. And come visit us if you ever need to be back in this sector. Of course, we'll see each other again. Let's pop to the store. Captain, our scanners detect multiple signals in the area. Maybe we should investigate them before warping to Tacit Stella. Perhaps someone needs our help. Okay, good to know. Right, let's go to our own ship systems. We may as well put the cloaking generator on, uh, the pulse generator, and indeed the mine launcher. Seems silly to not do that, doesn't it? Now... Uh, we do have light plasmas, um, which are slightly better than these, 5 seconds and 30 seconds. So let's replace them. And we also have a light cannon of the Republic to replace this one back here. There we go, that's a little bit better in terms of firepower. All of these can actually be recycled, which is kind of nice. So maybe we'll do that in a moment. I don't know if we want the hacking drone to be involved yet, so let's move those ones down. Uh, we also have a spot we could fit something green and maybe the interceptor laser would be a good call here uh, we do have plenty of cash so I think what we'll do is we'll buy this confirm the purchase yep so you just drag and drop into your inventory now we can go to systems pop it there fantastic so the interceptor laser uh, fast and accurate its main function is to destroy enemy missiles before they hit our ship not a bad idea overall is it really uh, right now let's go and take a look at our um, farmers let's take a look at the engineering workshop and see if there's anything new that we have access to. Yeah, nothing of any real interest. We've already got a hacking drone. Um, yeah, nothing I definitely want there. Crew members are fine. Right, let's go to our departments, take a look at our scrapping workshop. All of these, except for the, uh, the hacker there, can go. Let's scrap them. So, nice, easy little job. It's, I find it a little bit disappointing that you can't queue things up. This secondary nuclear missile launcher, uh, this can go. Got a chance of a blueprint from this as well, of 26%. Let's see if we get it. Sadly, we didn't get the blueprint this time. Uh, let's take out this light plasma cannon. All the stuff at the top is the ship that's currently is the uh, stuff that's currently equipped on your ship. The stuff at the bottom is typically stuff that isn't. Uh, so let's scrap this and this is going to allow us to make some upgrades hopefully before we uh, continue onwards it kind of irks me that you can't queue things up for scrapping uh, I think it would be nice if we could do that and maybe that's something to look at in the future like kind of the Republic that can be scrapped Oh, 
Okay, and everything else we're using, or we might use. Uh, I know the Gatlings are very, very good. So what we're going to do is we're going to upgrade that. As much as we can. Now we need 1500 uh, to upgrade to the next level of that. Ev evidently we're not going to get there. So let's take a look at our Light Cannon of the Republic over here. Maybe upgrade that a couple of times. Uh, oh, that can upgrade to maximum fairly cheaply. There we go. And of course we will... 900, that's expensive. What does it cost us to upgrade our nuke? Takes the speed down of the missiles themselves, but okay. I think the interceptor lasers would benefit uh, from being upgraded. Is there anything else I can upgrade? Mine launcher we haven't really used. Pulse generator we haven't used so much either. So I think that's it. That is the that's the loadout now. We're back in our proper ship. Uh, there are no more missions for us to have. We are at 100% repair. Let's leave. And exit. Okay, so we've got suspicious activity and a distress call. Ah, oh, yes, it's nice to be back in this ship. This is a big, awesome ship. I think before we continue the game... Yeah, let's, let's go and see these distress signals. This one's a bit closer to the suspicious activity. Oh, got some pirates here. You spot a uh, group of unknown ships. After attempting to contact it a few times uh, for them to identify themselves, they activate their shields and weapon systems. They're preparing to attack. They leave us no other choice. All power to weapons. And they're going to die, but that is going to be <laughs> in the next episode. Uh, we will do these um, two mini missions in the next episode, and then we will continue uh, to the next sector. Of course, we've got a working warp drive now, so we will be able to get to the um, the meeting that we were trying to get to right at the start of this little demo. Uh, and that'll be in the next episode, folks. I hope you are enjoying this mini series so far. I think there are only going to be three episodes in total. Um, if you like the look of this game, uh, if you want to support it, um, there is a Discord for it, of course. Um, I will be linking its Steam page so you can grab the demo for yourselves and maybe have a little play of it. Um, in the description below, I will also be linking uh, this Kickstarter campaign. As of uh, when I'm releasing this video, I believe there will be five days left uh, on the Kickstarter campaign in this video. Uh, the team is very, very close to achieving their Kickstarter target. Um, but if you really, really like the look of this uh, of this game and what they're doing with it, then perhaps you might like to contribute uh, and be part of that development process. So uh, it's always good to take a look at the links in the description below. Also, make sure that you take a look at my Discord as well. Uh, my Discord link will be in there and I would love it if you would join our community. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching this episode. This is The Girl, out.